guys, hope everyone out there is doing good. It's been long, so I thought I should be coming to inspire your life in some way, to bring positivity in your life in some way. Because I love sharing my knowledge, I love expanding my knowledge. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to know your best friend, how to find your best friend. I'm gonna tell you certain practices which if you follow diligently, the bond between you and your best friend will definitely get strengthened. Therefore, know your best friend. Let's get into the video. Firstly, the question comes, who is your best friend? A relationship which when you build in your life should lift you in your lows, should refrain you from distractions, should applaud your achievements wholeheartedly. Now the question arises, who is your best friend? How to find one? Your best friend is always with you, is 24 by 7 with you. Your inner being is best friend to your outer being or vice versa. You have to live with your jiva instrument 24 by 7. Therefore, whether you want this jiva instrument to flourish or you want it to suffer, or are you best friend to self or an enemy to self? Definitely best friend to self. Now, if you want this bond between your outer being and inner being to flourish, becoming more empathetic with self, then you need to follow certain practices in your life. Let's get into it. The first practice is becoming empathetic to self. It's okay to experience pool of emotions Feelings. That's the beauty of being human. But when that emotion, feeling, tries to take a toll on your jiva, inner base, at that time, you should become more empathetic to self or mindful when to put stop to that state of emotion. The best practice to shun away from this state of emotion, which is my favorite and I practice it most of the times, is five-step activation. Now what is it? It is you putting yourself back into the present time and making yourself realize that present time is a great present to self. The five steps. Step one, close your eyes and focus on five things you can hear. It's going to activate your hearing sensation. Step two, open your eyes. Four things you can see. It should be part of nature, not the material thing. It's going to activate your sight and make you realize the beauty of present. Step three, three things you can taste. It can be anything. It can be water, whatever is in your reach. It's going to activate your tasting muscles. Step four, two things you can touch. It can be anything. It's going to activate your touch sensation. Step five, one thing you can smell. It's going to activate your smelling muscles. The five step guide is to bring you in the present moment by activating your five senses and make you realize the beauty of present moment. Now the second practice is coloring your inner canvas, learning and organizing your knowledge in order to accomplish your goals, always becoming the student of life as it will beautify you from within. Acquire the knowledge, skill sets, learnings required to accomplish your goals as it will bring ease in the process and reduces the timeline to reach to your goals. The example is, if you want flowers to blossom, you just don't think about the flowers. You sow the seeds, you water them, you give them sunlight, air, manure every day. Eventually, the flowers will blossom. Similarly, if you are in the constant mode of learning in the direction to your dreams, goals, the results will happen. And including the main ingredient, which acts as a catalyst to the aforementioned, is discipline. Discipline is our third practice. Discipline is the main ingredient the foundation to every structure goals. Discipline is having a clear vision or a routine for a day that organizes your energy sets, mental and physical faculties throughout the day. The best way to discipline yourself is by maintaining a journal. That should be the first thing you should be doing in the morning, wherein you're mentioning your daily goals, short-term goals, and setting out the plan trajectory to achieve them. As there's an adage, it is easy to tread on the directed path. The last one is gratitude. And I genuinely love this practice. Gratitude. Expressing your thankfulness either by standing in front of the mirror or the nature, by making an eye contact or closing your eyes and reflecting inner self. Remember, your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. So be mindful of what you want in the outer world as it all starts from within. There's a Sanskrit verse, Yatho Pinde Tato Pramande. The way you are from within, so is the manifested world. If you diligently follow all these practices in your lifestyle, you'll definitely become a best friend to self. There is a saying, best friends are hard to find because the very best friend is already in you. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys and I hope I brought some positivity in your life in some way. I'm gonna come up with more content to bring more positivity in your life. Love you Samarthians. Take good care of yourself. Share this video as maximum as possible. 